The pairs dance and damage one another. Those alone walk and slowly starve. Which is the way to go? I don't know. It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Things are heating up in our robot battles. The survivors, they cycled around for the most part. Chinky's the only one left from our original batch of four to have made it. One has died. We have three new ones on the field, newish ones, um, each in their own kind of position, each fairly near the starting base right here. Cowboy's in rough shape. He is limping over to the base here, uh, but he is slowly well, not pretty quickly, actually, running out of life. He's gotten some bad events early on. Uh, if he can make it to the base and sit there for a while, uh, he should be okay. But otherwise, we might have to say, Arrivederci, cowboy. Um, bigger news, more exciting news, Chinky made it to the end. So Chinky is going to be a career man. Let's go ahead and pull out who's coming up next here. Oh, what is your name? You did Return of the Heroes and Scoots. That's right, Scoots. Scoots was a fierce competitor. It's exciting to see her back in play. Right back there, Scoots. Cowboy didn't get the role he wanted. Things are going poorly for him. Um, he's gonna like, well, he's, well, de depend he has to roll a five or a six, I think, next time in order to make it. Otherwise, he's gonna lose four life levels which is going to take him down one, two, three, four to the... He can just move one space, and that might not be able to get him there, depending on what he rolls. If he rolls a one and goes, like, shoots off in the random direction, he's in real trouble. Um, looking at our robots here, we see that Bruzza positioned himself so that if um, the spider bot was to continue attacking him from behind, which is what it's been trying to do, it opened itself up to the tank. So now Dancing Bear has a decision to make. It's her move right now. Does she rotate herself to shoot at the spider bot or does she continue pursuing the Hellabot? I think she's not gonna, she's not really getting anywhere with the Hellabot, but she doesn't want it to get away either. And I think she's got a pretty good idea who that spider bot is given its dogged pursuit. So, oh, my light is winking at me. It went out. All right, I have more lights, so it's okay. Um, yeah, that'll be... I think she might want to just go after that Hellabot. Keep it moving. I think she's going to... One, two, three. She's going to get off of her pylon there and just pursue it up close. And Cowboy made it. He was right here, then he rolled a one, which made him ran move randomly, and he luckily rolled a three after that, which took him right to the base. So... He just has to sit there for a long time, a la Chinky, and he should be okay. We are in the firing phase, and Brezza has just ejected himself. Since he's a hotshot pilot, he has a cool motorcycle, and he just went shoom, brrrm, right over here. Um, there we go. So that would make it the Hellabot's turn. The Hellabot can't shoot onto the Hoverbot. The Hoverbot is going to do this. Tinkerbell is going to use her exo disposal in order to molt and get rid of I think these three damages and she also loses the skin and she's gonna get rid of the on fire marker as well um, the robocar didn't pursue her that turn it decided to get rid of the disable markers it couldn't it couldn't attack her with how it was looking um, so after the Hoverbot is the Spiderbot. And the Spiderbot, I guess, will go ahead and attack that rocket with the Tesla gun, I suppose. Yeah. It's too close for guided missiles. So Tesla gun doesn't just rolls to damage some location, zero location. And that is going to destroy the rocket bot. So it's good he got out of there. <laughs> Um, or he would have been destroyed as well. So, but he can't go back into that bot. It's gone. And that brings us to the tank bot. Tank bot is going to continue pursuit with the UAV here. Um, just trying to keep the Hellabot moving. That's pretty much what she's doing. Because as long as the UAV is right next to the Hellabot, the, the Hellabot is painted, 
and then um, Dancing Bear can use her guided missiles on it. Then the rocket car can, can't do anything, and I think that's it. For those of you wondering about Bix Beetleman, he's been blessed, but blessed with the inability to move. He's been stuck in this one spot. He, he was uh, eating and drinking there, eating deer and drinking lake water, uh, but then he kept getting things that forced him to remain stationary on this chart. Um, and then he got one that allowed him to gain two more food, but he was already um, full. So he was blessed with a cornucopia. Uh, but now he's able to move. So let's see where does he want to move. I think he wants to go up this way. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. Mm. Yeah. Although the desert appeals to him. Mm. Seems like, I think he'll follow in the footsteps of the other people. One, two, three, four, five, six, right up here. And down, and down, and then we roll for this. Nothing. Scoots. Scoots has had a lot of random movement. She's trying to get to here. This is kind of a, a crucial base to get to, I think, in the game. Um, or at least that's where people have been going. Let's see if she can go the right way this time. Three. So she can go one, two, three, four. Can't move any further. See if she gets an encounter. No. Scoots finally made it to the base. She got another random roll, but it put her on the right track, so it, it worked out okay. Now it's the spider bot's turn. Uh, interesting, the Hellabot just decided to stop running, got herself powered up, and then just charge the tank bot. So I think the spider bot is maybe going to just join in on that. And go one, two, and turn like that. All right. Then he's able to maybe get a shot at at uh, Brezza if Brezza gets out of the woods, which is going to be kind of hard for him to to catch press, I think, on that motorcycle. The spider bot can only move four, and the motorcycle moves five. Um, and I think we c it's probably pretty safe to assume that the spider bot is Hubba, but it's not for sure. It hasn't been revealed yet. Coonies has been having a rough time. He just got an event that caused him to lose a life level. He's been wandering around over here, uh, sought to get down here, but then got some random rolls, which made him move off in bad directions, so it forced him to go to this this mountainside, hillside lake here, where he's just been trying to drink enough water to survive, uh, to get strong enough so that he can make the trek down to this southern base. But he's been having a hard time of it. Hard, hard time. Back to the firing phase. Helibot is gonna use its particle beam accelerator with the supercharged double shot thing. Um, so that's tw twice 3D6 against the tank by here. And let me remind myself if the tank bot has any sort of defensive measures. I don't think it does. Uh, maybe it does here. Sorry, that's the problem with playing this solitaire. So there's a lot of hidden information on all the cards that it's, I miss stuff sometimes, and it's not good. It's not fair to the players. All right. So that's going to hit easily the silhouette. It's either three or four or zero. I think she would like to get rid of those guided missiles, but that's not an option. Don't know what four is. Chemical rockets aren't bad. It's double if doubles, right? All right it's not doubles, so let's get some of these out. All right, and then once again, one, three, and four. So she could get rid of the chemical rockets or hit the one location, which is the drivetrain. That wouldn't be bad. Huh. I think she wants to get rid of the chemical rockets, so. Fewer weapons to deal with. All right, so that's the Hellabot's turn. Now it's the Hoverbot. Hoverbot managed to get away from the, car, the robo car. It's up here. Doesn't really have anything she can do there. Tinkerbell is there. You have double range, but you... I, it says you can hit someone who's off of a hill if you're on a hill, but I think these hills would block sight, so I don't let them do that. Um, okay, so no Hoverbot. Let's go on to Spiderbot. Spiderbot's going to shoot that tank, and Spiderbot is going to shoot that tank with, I think the Tesla gun would make sense. 
have to take oh, I think I forgot to decrease the energy one time. Could also use the missile, but I think the Tesla gun's better. So it's an automatic damage to the two location, which destroys her guided missiles. Wow. That's rough. And then she has to disable something. I assume she can't disable something she's already disabled. What's this? Yeah, I guess she may as well disable that because she can't use it anymore anyway. All right. <coughs> Tank bot's pretty much, uh, Dancing Bear can't really do anything anymore. Um, all right, but it's now her turn, I believe. Spider bot rope, yeah. Um, I guess she'll use this if it can do anything. She can paint a target. Okay, she'll paint a target. Um, and I suppose she's got to, oh, it's, she could paint the spider. She'll paint the spider. Right, if she can hit it. And she cannot. <laughs> That's terrible. Dancing bear, I'm so sorry. And then the Robocar. Robocar can't, isn't quite in range of anything. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Real People Multi-Game Solid Tur Mega Tournament. We, things have changed a lot since last time. I thought the Robotank would be doing far better than she has been. She was, she was kind of one of the strong players. Spiderbot still managed to get away unscathed. Um, and so far, so is Bruzza, although it, you can't say the same for that... Um, that uh, jet, that rocket bot that he was flying. Um, getting quite a party going here. Bix has almost made it to the party. The Coonies, Scoots, Bix, and then, oh no, not Coonies, sorry, Cowboy, Scoots, and Bix, and then poor Coonies down south by his lake alone. Is it better to dance with others or by yourself? We'll find out next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Ottoman and French Lake. Combined leg to Creekbot.